is funny. My niece um, took a couple screenshots of Periscope broadcast today. And she's like, wow, Auntie Tish, you have changed <laughs> over the years. So, you know, it has shown uh, the progress uh, in different areas. So uh, that's exciting to see, exciting to look back on. Because we're earlier, we may not have uh, many of those who normally catch me live, uh, but they can always catch the replay. Um, so last week we came to you from, uh, sup uh, not surprise, from West Phoenix uh, Planet Fitness, the grand reopening. And the title uh, that I got on the way there, if you will, is God causes all things to work together for our good and to stay encouraged. And pretty much as we're finishing out this year, uh, oftentimes we hear the, the words, the challenges to be encouraged, stay encouraged, don't give up uh, when we're in the last of the race, when we're in the last of anything. Um, sometimes we may get weary, we may get tired, uh, but that's when we need to push. That's when we need to push. So Father God, I come to you right now in the name of Jesus. And I lift up everyone, Lord God, that is viewing live, uh, those that I can see and those that I can't see, uh, Lord God, as well as those who are on the replay. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would uh, speak uh, to me and through me, words of encouragement, words of inspiration, uh, to for all of us, each of us uh, in this season as we finish up, Lord God, with the schedules, with the hustles and the bustles, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that we would look to you for strength, for truly the joy of the Lord is our strength. Truly, you are faithful. You never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. So I give you praise, honor and glory, Lord God. May something I say uh, be encouragement to all of us, Lord God, uh, to press on, to push on. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So tonight, uh, as a title that's up there, stay focused in this season. So you're advancing and not recovering in the new year. And pretty much that's encouraging us to maintain our focus. And that's focus in every area. That particular title came to me last week when I was watching uh, a Facebook Live. Uh, by Tamara Joy Scott. Um, I've mentioned her several times throughout the year. Uh, she's a minister at our church in California, um, and she does morning manna uh, pretty much every uh, morning, Monday through Friday. And she was coming from Joshua, Joshua 1-9. We had a couple sessions earlier in the year on Joshua uh, because he's an ex excellent um, example of, of a relationship with God. And in Joshua um, 1 verses 1 and 2, the areas, we need to remain focused in every area. And the scripture, Joshua 1, 1 to 2, that I will use is for the areas of mental and emotion, uh, mentally and emotional areas of our lives. And it says that now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to thee give to them, even to the children of Israel. And as I was uh, sitting down to develop this evening's uh, encouragement, and because I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, um, my uh, beliefs, guidelines, directions come from the word of God um, and the principles, and I see them work because God watches over his word to perform it. So when I say mentally and emotionally, um, I went back to Deuteronomy, and in that last chapter, Moses, who led the people, hey, cuz, uh, thanks for joining Arlene. Moses led the people um, out of Egypt, uh, but because of all that transpired, and go back and get in your word if you want a refresher on that, but because of all that transpired, Moses did not get to go into the promised land, and he knew that. So in Deuteronomy, the last chapter, which I think is 34, uh, God it's like, I'm going to show you <laughs> what I had for you and the children of Israel. You're not going to get to go in, but I'm going to show you. So he took him up into the plains. 
and he showed him all the lands and he's, you know, told him who's going to inherit what and, you know, which tribe will, you know, get what parcel of land, um, but you won't see it. And he died there. And that was just a refresh to me. And the Lord buried him. And no one knows to this day where Moses is buried. Um, so the people mourn for him 30 days. So when we open up in Joshua 1, we see where God has, you know, they've, they've gotten the 30 days to mourn. However, in terms of God, his plans must and will still go forth right? And when I see that, it's we can go forth even the midst of challenges in the strength of Christ. Um, and when I say that, he said, okay, Moses is dead. I gave you time to mourn. However, I have equipped you. I've assigned you. I've called you to take his place, right? So he gave him directions. Arise, go over this Jordan. And he gave him promises and you can go on back, you know, scroll through my different broadcasts. You will see about three or four uh, sessions early in the year where I talked about Joshua, because when God gives us direction, when he gives us an assignment, he makes provision. He gives us strength. He gives us the plan. He gives us the strategies at the times that we need it. Sometimes we just may need to step out, not knowing where we're going to step, not knowing how we're going to do it, just trusting God. And that's the best way. This year of 2018 has been a year of trusting God. Y'all have heard testimonies, prayer requests, praise reports throughout the year. It's been a year of trusting God. And there's no better person to trust, right? Because his plans, his thoughts for us are for good and not for evil right? To give us an expected end so we can stand on his promises. So mentally and emotionally staying focused is trusting God. So if we're going through a hard time, if we're going through a grieving moment, and there's so many people that I've been lifting up and praying who have lost loved ones within this last 30 days, some suddenly uh, due to a heart attack, uh, some may have had health challenges, a couple of actually suddenly, um, but um, we pray their strength and it's like, you have to go on. And I watched the eulogy of one uh, for Saturday where his son eulogized him and he was just sharing from his heart, but you can see he was sharing um, in the power of the Lord. And that's what the Lord will do. He will give us the strength that we need to go through the various seasons, the various phases of our lives. Spiritually, we want to remain focused so that we're advancing and not recovering in the new year by trusting the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So in terms of putting in, putting him first, seeking him first, going to him with every situation, every care and concern that we have, we don't understand something, it's like, Lord, I don't understand, right? Uh, we can, you know, be honest and open with him. I need your direction. I need your guidance. Financially, in this particular situation, um, in this season rather, Romans 13, 8, owe no man anything but to love one another, right? And in that, when we say owe no man anything, we don't want to get into debt. Did y'all hear me? Christmas is in seven days next week. How many of you have planned, have prepared, have budgeted uh, for the gifts that you may want to give others? Um, and hopefully you're not going into debt, you know, over that. And there may be some times where you're not able to give like you want to give. So you may be giving your love, giving your time, um, we text and, you know, do social media so often, we seldom pick up the phone. You may need to give your time this holiday season by calling those family members, those friends, those loved ones that you just don't make time for and say, hey, just checking on you, saying hello, wishing you the best for the new year. And that may mean more to them or should, right, than receiving something. But my challenge and encouragement in terms of staying focused 
in the financial aspect is not going into debt because you will then be recovering instead of advancing in the new year, right? You will be entering, you know, especially if your income doesn't change, right? But if your expenses go up, then you're like, oh my goodness, I created $500 worth of debt to start out the new year. What am I going to be doing? And then you're going to be carrying, uh, you know, interest and fees uh, for however much long if you haven't planned. So stay focused financially in this season. And then my last encouragement is to stay focused physically, right? First Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 in the King James Version says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. So we want to be good stewards over these bodies. We want to treat them well. And um, this year was my job, if you will, my work, my emphasis was on not just the spiritual aspect in terms of getting closer to God and uh, seeking him. However, the physical aspect in terms of getting healthy. When I started the year, my goal was to drop 75 pounds. Um, and that's basically anticipating uh, God continues to satisfy me with long life. But when I celebrate, because I you know, trust in God for long life, uh, 50 in uh, 2019 to release the weight. And it's funny when you look back and you see Oh my goodness, that was me way back when. However, I am so grateful uh, for this journey uh, to a healthy body uh, because I feel um, much better in terms of getting the weight off my joints and the excess, you know, off my joints. And um, I'm excited in terms of what God has in store. Uh, one reason being health in terms of losing the weight. Um, and also serving in the kingdom, I desire to serve. It's like, Lord, what do you what what do you have for me? And we need to be healthy in our bodies, whether it's work in the mission field, whether it's uh, teaching, whether it's preaching, whatever it is that God has called us to. We need to make sure that we have healthy bodies and healthy vessels. So it's never too late to start. It's funny. Um, and I didn't get to pull the picture off my phone, but we have a cousin's uh, WhatsApp chat. And one cousin from uh, Florida, Michael, he shared uh, two pictures. And one was of a lady, I forgot what her current age was, but she started into health fitness at age 43. And the other one, I think Ernestine, some of you may or may not have seen her. You can probably look at her, look her up, but she's an 80 something year old bodybuilder. Both are sisters, African-American women, and she started, I think, at 56 or whatever it is um, it is. So it's never too late to get a grip on our bodies, to get a grip on our eating, our sleeping, our resting, and make adjustments, right? Welcome. Thank you for all who are joining me. Uh, we're just encouraging you to stay focused in this season. Stay focused in every area. It's easy to sit down. It's easy to give up, to give out. But this is not the time uh, to throw in the towel. We want to get our second win. Um, you know, as I say, in terms of Galatians 6, 9, and let us not be wary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And pretty much for me, my encouragement has been the word of God um, as a source of encouragement. Um, be not wary in well-doing because I'm going to reap. So if I I'm not going to reap what it is. I don't know what that surge was. I don't know if I'm still alive, but we will see. Um, if y'all can throw up some hearts or give a comment because I'm not sure if this broadcast was cut out or not, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, as we wrap this up, because I'm here on Monday evening, so 15 to 20 minutes, um, be encouraged, stay focused. You want to advance in the new year and not get in a sense of recovery. Thank you, Sam, for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we had a power surge, right? So 
Stay encouraged. What is the title? Stay focused in this season. Why? So that you're advancing and not recovering. So we're not going to get into debt. We're not going to overindulge in the treats and the niceties, right? Uh, so that we're feeling sluggish. And we may even start a program, a fitness program. Start where you are. It may be just walking around your house for 20 minute, 10 minutes. You know, whatever it is. Get your body moving. Get your body going. It may be increasing your water intake. Water is essential. Minimum gallon. <laughs> yes, 120 ounces. That's, that's probably a lot. But get your basic 64 ounces a day. Your body will be helpful, right? And will be necessary, right? And in terms of, let's see, what else? Mentally, emotionally, staying focused in the word, right? You may be missing a loved one who's not here this holiday season for the first time. Find strength, find encouragement in Christ. You may cry. You may shed some tears because you're missing them. However, don't let that absent family member hold you in a place where you're not moving forward, right? Where you're not about the father's business, right? So trust in God. Trust God. Trust God to stay focused in every area, spiritually, of course, throughout the day, praying without ceasing, first thing of the day, last thing at night. Finances not going into debt, right? Because we want to advance when we enter into the new year and not be in a place of recovery. Hey, Teeter, welcome, welcome, welcome. You just caught the end, uh, getting ready to sign off. We got on here a little earlier today, but we encouraging all of us, all of us, stay focused, stay focused, get in the word. Um, most of you may or may not have my phone number, text, you know, lift you up in prayer. I do lift you up in prayer, um, you know, throughout the week and on Sundays in terms of just keeping you, touching you, but trust God, trust God, trust God. So Father, I thank you and I praise you, Lord God. You know what each individual needs, Father God, those that are watching live and those that are catching the replay, Lord God. I pray, Father God, for wisdom in each of these areas, Lord God, so that they and we can be good stewards over every area, Lord God, over our relationships, Lord God, with family members, over our finances, Father God, so that we definitely will have enough to sow into the kingdom, but not to go into a place of hardship, Lord God, over our bodies, Lord God, that we uh, can be good stewards. So if we're faced with health challenges, Lord God, if we're, uh, taking medication, Lord God, that we would receive uh, your healing as we take the medicine. We will believe for healing, Lord, because I know you to be Jehovah Rapha, Lord God, over our mental and emotional state, Lord God. I pray for focus, Lord God, and pray for direction, Lord God. May we bind our mind to the mind of Christ, Lord God, and see ourselves as you see us and trust you for every area of our lives. So I give you the praise, the honor, and glory. I thank you, Lord God, that we will all advance in the new year, Lord God. God, that we will all finish 2018 strong, Father God, because our focus will be on you. Our trust, our confidence will be in you, Lord God, and you are more than able. So, Father, I give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. I thank you for everyone watching live. I thank you, Lord God, for the time, Lord God, that they invest, Lord God, that we can communicate, that we can share, and be encouraged together. So, order their steps this evening, throughout this week, Lord God. I give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Yes, we are all walking by faith, finishing strong. God is not finished. There's still much uh, that can be done in these next two weeks. So trust God. May God continue to bless you as well. And I thank God uh, that everything that I do and say, I desire to be for his glory. So thank you for watching. Thank you for those who shared. Thank you for the hearts, the love. God bless you all. Until the next time, we have two more Mondays left. And yes, I'll be here on the 24th and the 31st, God's willing. It may be earlier, may be the same time, but if not, look for me at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time from the Valley of the Sun. God bless you all. Thank you until we talk again. God bless you. Bye-bye.